It's been two years with my spin and my milk frother, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm so excited that the spin two has come out. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Uh, it looks like a really amazing machine with some cool new features. Yes, I know. You wanna be in every video. Come on, set it. With the new one coming out, my bet is they're going to discount this one. Uh, they always have a pretty good Black Friday deal, but this machine has been amazing. I'll show you some extra accessories like this uh, scrubber right here. You may ask what this is for. I'll show you a uh, container, the cleaning kit. We'll go through that. The coffee choice I use and what I did to the frother, removing this little spring, which makes it perfect uh, for me anyway. Also, I use a specific programmed blend right here, and I'll show all of that to you, so stay tuned. Before we set up the tripod, this is the pro version, which has a water inlet right here. So we plumbed water over, and here is uh, the trash can, but under the trash, we have a Aosmith water filter, um, water supply, and all of that extra hose is to get the water hose over to the sink, which is right over here. And uh, you have to flush those when you change them. So it just makes it really easy to change out those filters. It uses such little water that I only change them out once a year. Here's my routine. Every morning, I'm going to add some beans because I'm a little bit low. And my first recommendation is do not fill the beans all the way up. If you fill them too much, and I never change the coffee. I love this stuff, Siren's Blend. It's all I use. Uh, but if you never uh, change your choice of coffee, you can just fill this up. And that's about all I fill it. I don't know if you can see that, but this whole area here is empty. And um, when I first got it, I filled it all the way. And what happens if you fill it too much, it'll pull the grinds down or pull the beans down and it, will pull, it won't pull any beans because they're getting stuck in there somehow. So by not filling it all the way, that fixed that. Also, if you like to switch out your coffee types, you don't want to fill it all the way because I've never emptied it, but I would imagine it's a pain to empty. So I come up to the machine, I push that, I push that again, and it makes the first programmed brew in the four choices that you get to program it. I hardly ever use the phone. However, it does tell me on the phone when it's ready. And every once in a while, my daughter's here. My wife doesn't drink coffee, but every once in a while, my daughter is here. And she uh, doesn't know how to use it, but wants me to make her a double shot or something. And it's super cool because I can just do it from wherever I am. I can do it right from the phone. So while this is brewing, let me quickly show you the filter. Uh, these are kind of expensive, I think. Uh, this one's sealed, but it just slides right in the back of the water bin. If you're wondering, can you uh, rinse the machine or clean the machine and descale the machine with it hooked up to a water supply? The answer is absolutely yes. You can either refill it or it'll fill itself. This is a four pack of descaler. Uh, I've only done this literally once a year. I, you know, I think I, I've done it twice and I've had the thing for two years. So because I have the extra filters, I only change this once a year also. And you have to clear out the app because the app will tell you that you need to make a change. And then this was the original kit that I got. You can see it's the box is kind of screwed up because of a little water damage, but uh, I haven't even gone through a full bottle. Actually, this is my second bottle of this stuff but you use a third of the bottle each time you clean the machine. So you got cleaning, you've got uh, descaling, and you've got the filter.
So that sound was a normal, it normally pulled all the beans through. You'll hear this kind of hollow sound if it doesn't pull all the beans through. And uh, let's get the cream going. So as I mentioned, I pulled out, there's the little whisker thing. I pulled that out of, um, it's kind of a pain to get it back in there. There we go. I pulled the screen out of it. If you leave the screen in it, it makes super frothy milk. If you don't leave the screen in, it makes just like warmed kind of whipped milk. There's a little bit of froth on top. So I fill it just above the max line, the first max line, there's two max lines in there. Put that on, and if I start everything at the same time, the milk is finished a little bit before the coffee, which is perfect, because I can get the milk in the cup, <laughs> this washed, put away, by the time this is ready, but I'll, I'll show you that. Anyway. This brush is for uh, cleaning that. The only way I can see to do it, and I'll show it to you in a minute, is to uh, have a brush like this, a bottle brush. Um, I thought about taking this screen and snipping it with wire snippers so that it's just less screen, but it really doesn't matter. This, what I'm doing here works perfectly. I'm gonna take this back over to the sink because you've seen that. So that's it, the brew is done. This, my custom blend is a double shot of the highest ounces of water and the most grams of coffee. I was fooling around with it and I happened to make that. I really like it, it tastes really good. So that's what I use. I also use Splenda, it's not the healthiest but that's what I like. Uh, so, two Splendas. That milk is not quite done, but I'm gonna wait to show you my exact routine because if you remember, I said, if you start these both at the same time, this will finish before your double shot. That will beep when it's done. What this is for, I got this on Amazon, I'll put the link below. It's just a nice 303 stainless steel measuring cup. Uh, it's 16 ounces. What I use this for, I'll tell you in a minute. So this is all ready to go and you can see in there, it's frothy, but it's not ridiculously frothy. So what I do is I pour my cream in, put this on to keep it hot. I go wash this, I'll show you that in a minute. By the time I'm done, uh, I take this, wipe off just a little bit of splatter. That's all back ready to go. Pour my shot in there, put this back, and that's it. For me, that is a perfect drink right there. It's got a little bit of milk froth on top, but that is what I drink every single morning. And I love it, I'm addicted. If you've ever had a um, Grande Latte, Grande Hot Latte from Starbucks, this is the closest thing to a Grande Hot Latte that I can find. To me, they taste exactly the same. So I'm gonna drink this, and then I'm gonna come back and show you why I left this here, what this is for, and how I clean this. Uh, then also I'll show you what I use this for. So stay tuned. Sorry for the lighting. It's about five in the morning and it's dark outside. As you can see, and there's the, there's the baby. There's your baby. You're a good girl. I hate it when you're on the couch like that. Anyway, this, um, I leave this here because in about 15 minutes, maybe, maybe a little less, it's gonna shoot a shot out. Not a, like, not a shot, but it's gonna shoot liquid out as it cleans the spigot. I leave this here because it just makes for 
you know, less liquid down in here. And then by the time I'm done with my coffee, I can clean this. Uh, what I was doing is cleaning this and putting it back. And then I'd come back and there'd be like dirty water in there. So I just wait now, makes it much simpler. This I've found to be the perfect size for flushing or cleaning. Uh, so I just keep this just, you can go on the app and do a flush and it'll just send liquid through the machine. But everything they do is 16 ounces or less and this fits in there perfectly. So that's why I bought this. Um, this is to get the grinds out. This is just a, you can use any bowl. I really like walnut, so I bought this on Etsy. Somebody made it. Uh, but you pull the grinds out, and this size bowl, it's um, 10 inches, is perfect for the grinds. Perfect. And here it shows you that it's clean. So, some quirks about the machine. Um, it will think that this has grinds in it when it doesn't. So you can see it's kind of, it's not, try to get it in the light. There's a bunch of grinds in there. Even though it's mostly dry, it's coated with grinds. And if it gets too coated, it thinks it's dirty. So I've had to wash that a number of times when it wasn't really fully, fully empty. Um, when it wasn't really full. This has to be cleaned constantly. I'll show you how I do that. Uh, not really clean, just dumped. But when we take the uh, frother over to the sink, I'll show you over at the sink how I wash this stuff. That is literally it. I haven't done anything else to this machine in two years. Clean it maybe twice a year, to scale it once a year. Now I have those filters, so that helps. Replace this once a year. And I know the app will tell you to do it far more frequently, but I'm the only one in this house that drinks coffee. So it just gets one per day, literally. That's all I drink. If I have guests over, maybe, but my daughter once in a while, my son. Uh, but, you know, we don't drink coffee all day long, and my wife never drinks it. So that's it. The machine works perfectly. Uh, I do use these features if I want a cup of coffee for relatives or other people. But um, that's it, it tells you, it never tells you when it needs water anymore because obviously I use the, it's, I use the uh, water line. Uh, it tells you when you need grinds, but you can open it up if you don't wanna fill it and just move the grinds around to cover the electric eye. That's how it knows and get, you know, at least one more cup out of it. And then this is this tray down here and it, it'll tell you when that's full, uh, which, it's not full yet, so that's why it lights up green. But let's go over to the sink and I'll show you what I do, how I clean these. And then this just goes outside on my, I have a lemon tree and a lime tree and I sprinkle it uh, every couple days. And, oh, that is another thing. So see this little gnat right here? We had uh, some bad food in the trash and we didn't know it. <laughs> so we got some gnats in the house, which is really irritating. But if you leave this for too long, Gnats actually will, will lay eggs in it and you'll dump it and there'll be worms in it. And that is a gross thing. Um, here's that shot that's about to come out so we can watch that real quick. But this, uh, you know, you wanna empty this. I empty it every time. And it only happened once when I went out of town and I didn't empty it and I came back and I'm like, oh, that's kind of gross. Uh, so that was it. That was just a little bit of liquid that came out. You can see. Not very much at all. Uh, that normally would have just landed in here, which is fine. Uh, but now this is ready to be cleaned, and when I put it back, because this is how the machine sits during the day and overnight, that would be perfectly clean. Cleaning this couldn't be simpler. I just wipe this out. I don't normally rinse this, but since I have it over here, I go ahead and rinse it. And then here's where this comes in handy. What will happen, and I'll try to show you, I don't know if the light's gonna be good enough. Yeah, the light is good enough. So if you just rinse it and you don't use this brush, milk builds up 
in the bottom corner, right there, you can barely see it, right up there. Let me turn this so the light maybe. There we go. Milk builds up in this, in this back corner. And it's kind of hard to get in there. And so you just stick this in there and give it a scrub. Honestly, I don't even use soap. And presto, perfectly clean. You can get this thing wet. I wouldn't pour water right in the bottom of it, but you can get it wet. And then quick paper towel. Dries everything off. My hand is, uh, I don't have an enormous hand, but it fits down in there just fine. And once it's all clean, you can pull this little nub out occasionally if you want to. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any buildup under there, but that's ready to go. Interesting fact about this thing, because it's a frother and that involves air, this thing is not airtight. So I used to leave it crooked all the time. And then I realized that it has a gap, you know, where it lets the air in. So you can put this down all the way and it'll continue to dry. You don't have to worry about making it crooked. Uh, clean up my little glass. This is, these glasses are made by Bodum uh, right there. I love them. I th they're so nice. There we go. Actually, I had it upside down. Anyway, um, oh, that's why I can't read it. You can read it from inside. How smart is that? They printed it backwards, mirrored, so you can read it from within the glass. They are insulated. They are not that expensive. I got them on Amazon. The brand is B-O-D-U-M, and I love them. They're so simple and nice. And then the only other thing is cleaning this, which is so simple. You just dump it out. Fill it with water till water, you can see the water right there. Dump it again. And I just do this a couple times. This is actually three parts. One, two, three. But I don't ever really clean, you know, maybe once every couple months, I'll get in there and scrub the whole thing. But for just every day, See, I did way more than I needed to. Uh, for every day, all you have to do is just kind of go like that. And that's it. Done. I always try to dry it off because that machine has got these cavities back in there, like where this slides in. And I hate to shove anything wet back in there. So I always try to keep it dry for the areas that go back into the machine because I don't want to promote any mold or any problems. Anyway, that's that. That's ready to go back in the machine. This is ready to go back on the charger. Let's go back over there. This goes on there. This goes on there. This goes back. This goes on the trees. This goes back in the cabinet. These go under the sink, and this goes back in the cabinet. So that's what it looks like day in and day out on the countertop. And like I mentioned, it is um, my favorite, favorite coffee machine. I love this thing. Uh, like I said, with the Spin 2 coming out, if that's out of your price range, I'm sure this thing is going to drop in price and people will be scooping them up. And that's why I made this video finally. Two years with this thing, nothing has broken. Uh, when you talk to them through the phone app, they communicate immediately, if not the very next day, if you're after hours. But they, it's almost like you're texting. It's basically texting through the app. They answer questions. Um, I, I just I can't be happier with the hardware, the technology, the build quality, and of course the coffee to me is amazing. Amazing. Every one of these choices is fantastic. If you're into a specialty drink like what I made, this, you can't beat this thing for ease, 
you, you just can't beat it. With this being, you know, their first edition, like I mentioned, it's likely gonna go on sale. And it has been amazing. For two years, it's been absolutely amazing. So, hope you liked this video. Uh, please subscribe. I make new, totally random videos all the time. And you can see we've got something else going on here. I never actually watched the machine much past making it. Now, if it shoots out a little liquid there, that's gonna be annoying because I've already cleaned that glass. Yep, there it goes. So that is, I'm glad that I rambled on this long because that is the cleaning cycle that it does uh, about 15 minutes, I guess, after your last brew. Uh, and then you just wash that, but that is the amount of liquid that you're preventing from going into here if you keep a little cup here. And what you heard there was it just filling itself back up. Okay, that's really, really the end. Thanks for watching. See you next time.